Hello, this is Darcy with StyledStockLibrary.com where we create gorgeous images for women entrepreneurs. Head over to StyledStockLibrary.com to get two free images. We want to send you two images so that you can try them out and see how beautifully they reflect your brand. And you can see these beautiful images here. Some of them are more beautiful than others. But all of them have one thing in common, and that is that they display a website on a computer screen. Now, if you have ever tried to take a picture of a computer screen, you would know that it does not show up beautiful like this. It doesn't show up nice and clear at all. It usually has some gray spots, some darkened areas, maybe a little rainbow effect on there. But what you do know is that it does not work. So how did these people do that? That is what we're going to explore today so that you can display your website on one of our stock photos in the most beautiful way. You can do this on any template. So let's go over to Canva and get started. Let's go to the more. Now you can, if you're, if you're trying to create a Pinterest graphic, this will work in Instagram post, Facebook post, use any of these templates is totally fine. They have documents, they have blog graphics, they have marketing materials like posters and gift certificates, the cover photos for all of your different social media accounts, different uh, invitations and cards and anything you can imagine. Th these are even custom for, for ads like Facebook ads, different sizes for those. So let's just make it simple today. Let's do a Twitter post. Again, use anyone that you want. This will work for you. Bringing up our Twitter post size, of course they have our normal templates over here, beautiful things, but you know what? We have our own images. So why would we use one of their images that really don't reflect our brand as beautifully as we'd like? Let's go over to uploads. What I do is I go to styledstocklibrary.com, I pick the photos that I want, I drag them to my desktop, and then I upload them from my des desktop. It's really easy. You just go to upload an image. I have all mine right here because look, I did I dragged them over today. So all I can, all I do is, you know, pull pull it over, click open, and then they will load in there. So I'll just load one so you can see it. But I already loaded this one, and this is the one we're going to use. So this one's loading. It's almost done. Pretty quick, right? So this is the one we're going to use because it shows a laptop screen. Now we have a number of images that show desktop or laptop or even iPad screens, even phone screens in some of them. So you can pick and choose what you want. But I'll resize this. You can, you can resize it to whatever you want. So if you wanted it to fill the whole page, that looks good right there. That looks pretty good, but I'm going to show you something else today. So you could fill the whole screen, make it really simple for yourself, or you can fill up part of the screen and then decide that you want the other to be a color that is maybe in your photo. So if you saw our eyedropper tutorial, the eyedropper tool for Chrome is a tutorial we did it's very easy. You find it on Google, the eyedropper tool. Click on the eyedropper up in your right hand corner. Pick color from web page. And you can select any color. Let's pick one in the rose. That's a good bright pink. It saves the color in your eyedropper tool, so click on it again. Grab that code. Now I'm going to use my quick tool to Command C, copy it, and head over to background. Go to the plus sign and input my color, Command V, if you're on Mac. You're going to have to pull over a background. So we'll just pull this one over now. Notice, and I did this on purpose, but it's going to cover your image. It doesn't go backwards. It basically erased my image. Okay, I just want you to know. So you're going to want to do background first. Click on the pink, and it just simply changes it to pink. Now just head over back to Uploads, click on your image again, plops it right in there. Now you can have it like this, 
but I think I'm going to put it over to the side, have a pink strip on the left, maybe a tiny pink strip on the right. I like that effect. That looks good, right? Before I forget, let's name. I always forget the design title. You might have noticed that. <laughs> but let's name this Twitter uh, website on laptop. Pretty simple. Tells me exactly what it is when I'm looking for it. Okay, so there we go. Really easy. So we have a really good base to display our web page. So let's go over to oatchocolate.ca and all I'm going to do is to select my screen here. I'm going to select the web page. So this website page right above the fold, which is anything you see before scrolling down. Or you can choose a different snapshot that you want to see. Maybe this would be nice. Whatever, but I'm going to do, we want the title, we want the name of the company in there, so we're going to do Command Shift 4 if you are on Mac and select our page. There we go. We'll go back over and upload our image. Upload that screenshot we just made. Here we go. It's going to take a couple seconds. Just click on it. Resize. Let's see if this fits in there. Oh, not quite, right? Okay. So, what I'll do then is use our fancy crop tool. So, if you click on your image, you can just click on crop and it brings up the cropped area here. So we want more of the image in there. Now we noticed it's way too long. So let's not crop any of the length. We will just crop some of the width. And how you can kind of measure, I just eyeball it. But what I'll do is I'll see, okay, this side of this bracket is about this far from my cursor. Now this probably needs to go out a little more or I'm gonna pull this one in a little bit, okay? So, there we go, and pretty good, right? All you need to do is eyeball it. It really doesn't have to be too, too technical when you get down to it because it's not the most close-up image anyways. So I plopped it in there. If you notice, it looks a little off-center to me, so you can click on your image and use your arrow keys to move it around. See how I'm moving it around with my right and left, up, down, it makes it so you can really refine that direction for you. Wow, there we go. You guys, that looks great, doesn't it? If you notice, though, it doesn't, it's not completely authentic. Why? Because I took a screenshot of inside my web page. It doesn't show the browser. If you do want to show the browser, go for it. Let's, and if we even want to show everything, if you're on Mac, you can do Command Shift 3, and I don't know if you heard that, but it did a little camera noise. We'll go back over here, upload our screenshot. It popped it right there. See how simple and quick this can be? If you pull everything to the desktop and do these screenshots, they go directly to the desktop under the Today area, so it should be there right away when you click on desktop. All you have to do is these easy clicks. You don't have to search for anything. Let's delete this one. I'm clicking on it and I'm clicking delete or you can click that trash can. Now resize it a little bit. See the shape will have changed a bit and this actually fits in pretty perfectly because this is more authentic. I'm on a laptop. I'm on a Mac laptop and it actually fits the screen perfectly, doesn't it? You know, if I was going to do this, I might reduce the size of these these down here. I would get rid of my desktop icons because I don't want them to see that. But you could also crop them out. But note, if you crop it out, it's going to change the size. So you're going to have to crop some of the sides off and then it's going to cut off some of your toolbar. So you know what? Let's not do that. Let's be completely authentic and show them the mess on our desktop, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to move this up just a tad. And as I'm doing this, 
I'm looking at my laptop and I see that this looks very true to what my laptop is representing in front of me. So although you have the rounded laptop screen on the outside, the inside is rectangular with the hard edges. And that's why this can look so good, perfectly done for you. Like you took that picture. So there you go, you guys. This is a way to display your web page before anyone's ever gone there. Now, if you had this image linked to your website, this is kind of an enticing way to bring them there. If they like what they see, they like the style of your web page, then they're going to click on it and they'll want to see more. This is a way that you can really get out there, represent your brand before they've ever visited your website. Now, if you're looking to fill this space just a little bit, something I would really recommend would be to add a little logo. So you're usually going to have a, if you have a logo professionally done, you'll probably have a square version or a little rectangular version or oval or circle to go with a longer version. Now, if you do have that, that's great. What I would do is just, I'm using apples here, but pretend like this is your logo. What you'll do is just put that on there in the center, and ideally it would be a PNG, so it doesn't show the background, depending on the color, of course. If you have a pink logo, then it might not work against this background. It's, if it's white, perfect, it would be great. So the quick little ruler here, it shows this line all the way across the photo, and that shows that it's centered to one of our images. We know we have two images on here and they're a little different height. So this bottom line shows that I am centered to this image, the big one, and this top line shows that I'm centered to this one. They're pretty similar in terms of where they are, but just play around with it so you make sure you are actually centered to the image that you want. It'll also show right here when the top matches the top of this image. So find that center line for yourself and leave it there and look beautiful. Of course, feel free, leave your website. Since you're showing your website right here, you can leave text for your website. You can either put it here if your photo serves you, like maybe this is just white space down here. So you might want to show your website. You might want to do a really small text here, text it in there. They're probably not going to see it though. So why don't we just real quick add this little sub subheading and we'll say styledstocklibrary.com. Hard for you to see right now because it's in white. We'll keep it white. We're just going to reduce the size. And if you know, when I just clicked on this text box, all my quick tools come up here. So you can change the color, size, font. We'll keep it as it is here. And since everybody knows there is www in front of it, we will just take that off since it's a little long. And we can do it there. We can put it right below our logo. Let's do that because it kind of makes it a little more cohesive part of the logo, unless your logo has it in there, then you don't even have to worry about it. Wonderful, wonderful. You guys, I hope you loved this tutorial. Please go out, be creative. Use our photos to reflect your brand in an original but beautiful way. You will go up to download here. Download a PNG is usually what I do for web-based things. They look really nice on most web pages and they also have a PDF option for download, so feel free. That'll just download right to your downloads folder, save it wherever you need so you can quickly access it and use it till your heart's content. Of course, you can resize this into many, many different sizes for different platforms or different uses, so we encourage you to do that as well. Don't forget, if you don't have your two free images from us yet, head over to styledstocklibrary.com, download those images, have fun with them, and just make them your own. They are our gift to you. 
Now keep being creative, have fun, and please share your photos with us. We want to see what you've done with our creations. So please share them on over at our Facebook page. Share them on our wall here so that we can see them and others can see what a beautiful brand you have. Have a wonderful, beautiful, and creative day.